Hey guys, so this is my box braid install video. I have my hair prepped and ready to go. I have some two strand twists in the back. So I'm just gonna walk you through how I do mine. So some of my edge controls I will be using are the Curls Passion Fruit, Eco Style Olive Oil, the Argan Oil, Creamy Nature, and Shea Moisture Black Castor Oil. So as you can see, I'm separating the hair into three sections. So I have one bigger section, then a smaller section that I'm gonna loop between them. So I have one, two, three legs of hair. And I'm just gonna position that on top of my twist and attach my twist to the smaller leg of hair and begin braiding. And as I'm braiding, I tend to pull my twist a little bit to slide the extension hair closer to my root so I can get a more secure grip. And then I just continue to braid it all the way down. Now actually this hair is from my old Senegalese install I did, but I only wound up keeping that style in for about four days, so I just saved the hair, washed it, and conditioned it. Now as you can see, I am twisting the leg of hair in my hair where my hair ends to make sure that, that hair doesn't pop out of the braid. So you can kind of see the end there. So I'm just gonna take that piece and roll it underneath and then hold it really tight as I begin to braid to make sure that the end is secure. So I'm gonna continue braiding this all the way down and as I get closer to the end, I'm gonna start to borrow hair so that the braid cannot unravel. Here's a look after I've done about two or three rows in the back. Now I'm going to move on to my next section and I'm just prepping my hair by finger detangling and applying some of my moisturizers and then I'm just going to two strand twist it. So essentially this is how I prep my hair for my box braids. As I move per section, I will just finger detangle my hair, moisturize it, and then two strand twist it. That cuts down on tangles, it keeps my hair more moisturized, and I don't have to worry about reparting every time I want to start a new braid. Okay, so this is my hair about one third of the way done. They're about medium thickness, and I think they just reach about waist length in the front. So here are two more sections that I've just two strand twisted, and I'm gonna clip one out of the way and then work on this one. So starting on the hairline, I'm gonna apply some edge control to my root to this twist, and then just twist it and roll it. I'm also going to apply some to my actual edges and smooth those down to make it look neater. I'm actually going to put a clip on this twist to keep it tight so it doesn't unroll. Now I'm just measuring to make sure the hair is the right length. So you want to be very gentle on your edges because they are the most fragile part of your hair. And my edges are about a 4C texture and they're finer. So they can become rather brittle by excessive pulling and manipulation. So you want to be as gentle as possible. And because this is the hairline, I made these braids a little bit skinnier than the rest of them because I don't want so much pressure to be on them. On to the next section. So this is what I'm using. I'm using the Cantu Coil Calm Detangler as my leave-in. So I'm gonna spray some of that on my hands and then apply that to the section, working it in. And then I'm gonna go in with my Care Care Style or Step 3 Oil Moisturizer and a little bit of my Lotta Body Curl and Style Milk. So those are the three things I'm applying to my hair before I start twisting it and it keeps my hair nice and soft. 
the Cantu product has glycerin so it locks in that moisture and the Care Care is very hydrating and is a great sealant and then I just go in with a lot of body as my cream so essentially I'm doing the LOC method sometimes I use the lock method other times I use the LCO method it just depends what products I'm using and what state my hair is in because my hair is stretched and I'm installing box braids I like to use the lock method because I feel like it keeps my hair better moisturized for a longer amount of time under the synthetic hair and also with these products had I be using other products I might have done the LCO method all right so I'm on my last twist of my last section so I'm just gonna go ahead and twist these up I tend to use a little bit more edge control on the roots of these because they are on the front and I want them to look as nice as possible so this whole top section is finally twisted so I can just put box braids on top of them but I actually ran out of hair so I'm gonna pull this up into half up half down and run to the hair store so the hair that I use is the expressions 90 inches braiding hair in the color 2 all right I am back so I just went to the hair store and got about one more pack of hair as you can see I'm almost done this is what it's looking like so far these in the front are a little bit smaller than the ones in the back the parts are a little cleaner in the front it looks like I have a lot of braids because I do but it's not heavy at all I just have a lot of hair but I am finally on my last section and now I only have two twists left very excited to be done I think the ones on the hairline tend to be the hardest for me to do sometimes these I made a little bit smaller but I'm also trying to be really gentle on my edges and make sure they look as neat as possible because they are the ones that people see the most because they are in the front so just take your time and be patient okay so this is my last very last braid so excited I was so tired of sitting I've been doing this for two days straight so I think approximately 16 hours almost this is the new package of hair I just bought so you can see me kind of feathering the ends and I'm gonna apply some gel to it just to make it a little bit more tacky before I braid it in and once again you want to be careful braiding on the hairline because it's the most sensitive area So this is the final product I got distracted and started talking to someone but this is how they look if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below and I will leave all the details for my hair and the products I use in the description box and of course don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks for watching